Okay, so this is Poor Day in La Mirada. This project has been a lot of fun. It came with a couple difficulties and unforeseen circumstances. Uh, when we went to initially dig the pool, off to the right of the image here on that long stretch, we found some pipes underground. And uh, yeah, we just, we had a couple challenges and here we are uh, finally nearing the end of the project and everything is going really smooth. For concrete today, we have Odell's Complete Concrete out. So Tyler and Timmy, as well as Deloya Masonry, Eric, Eric from Deloya. Um, and of course, Juan is on the finishing side of things there. And uh, we have our main man, Enrique, which you'll see later today too. A lot, lot of good help on this project. Um, this mix is a 3500 mix. So it's 3,500 PSI. Uh, we added some fiber. I forget the exact quantity of the fiber, uh, but we did add fiber. With our pool coping, as you can see, there's no steel in the pool coping. And that was intentional. So we don't have steel in that. We do have steel in the big slab off to the back there by the barbecue. Um, steel is one of those things that is I don't know how do you say this <laughs> a lot of people have different opinions on it on when and when not to use it there's some areas that will pour giant big slabs without steel and i don't necessarily agree with that but these smaller sections like this adding steel in it is really just adding uh, more room for error in my opinion your the steel and concrete is going to expand and shrink at a different rate although they do expand and shrink at a very similar rate it will be different and you're inviting opportunity for moisture to get into the coping and uh, additional cracking whereas what we do here is we pour it like this and we go ahead and cut our joints roughly every two feet or so i think we might have went a little wider on this one and our joints, if you cut them deep enough, it's going to encourage any cracking that does happen to follow those joints. Um, and that's, the, that's what we want. Because if you have steel in it and you have cracking, uh, the cracking is going to follow the steel all the way down wherever the steel is going. So in many cases, you'll have it just shoot straight down your coping length. And that's not something we want. So as you can see, we have the coping. We have uh, some stepping pads up here to the kind of front and left. And off to the right, we have a curb that we poured on both sides. And that's because we had a, a little bit of an elevation difference on these yards. The neighboring yards were quite a bit higher, I'd say about six inches from our customer's patio height. And that curb, is just going to help a lot with keeping water and different runoff from our customer's yard. The guys here are adding more to the uh, stepping pads. They're pouring it, screening it, getting it dialed in. These stepping pads, I think, are the perfect size. Um, you really don't want to go too big with them because you don't want to go so big to where you want to throw in uh, control joints, control joints in them. They look nice just if you have kind of a monolithic concrete slab without any cuts in it. I believe we have these at about two and a half to three feet. Somewhere around there. I think they might be like 26 to 28 inches. These are some of my favorite shots with concrete. And I think it's kind of a common thing with most people. Anytime they get into doing the edging it's it's really satisfying to see the the concrete get cut on the edge along the board and it just creates a really nice clean look um so between the edging and brooming and just the all the finishing really it's kind of fun to watch this is enrique off to the right here this guy is awesome man he kicks ass <laughs> he he uh i'm really impressed with him with his stonework and masonry skills with, with block work does a really good job 
what they were doing with that pink line as you could probably tell they were running a uh, they were just marking their control joints across the spa so they line up perfectly that way if you're on one side of the spa and look down the joint you don't see that it's offset by an inch or two um, that just gets it dialed in perfectly but yeah I mean th this job came out really really nice I'm really happy with it it's a light broom finish we applied to it I know you East Coast guys really like a rough broom finish and it makes sense you guys deal with snow and slick conditions in California we don't really deal with that so really what we're doing is we want it to have enough texture so if you stand on it or you lean on it it's not slippery uh, but we don't need it to withstand any really wet conditions or snowy conditions even and that's it wrapped up guys came out really really nice i'm happy with it the customers are happy with it the next steps on this project were turf so i'm showing you a little quick behind the scenes we got turf laid in here and uh, tile and stonework so we matched the tile around this barbecue and fire pit uh, around the spa down the way there which is kind of far away um, and for the tile we picked a one by two blue tile 